Hey folks, welcome to Star Trek Online. My name is Jir Plays and we're going to be playing some of Star Trek Online. So we're going to be going through some of the racial balance, uh, racial traits for standard Starfleet, which is the faction that we're going to be playing this character on. Uh, as you can see, there are six factions. I can go ahead and explain them if you want. The two main factions are the Klingon Defense Force and Starfleet. Discovery Starfleet is a part of Starfleet. How many times can you say Starfleet in one sentence? TOS Starfleet is a part of Starfleet. They all graduate into the Starfleet line. So, yeah. Uh, Romulan Republic and Dominion. You choose whether you're going to be a part of the KDF or Starfleet. So we're going to go ahead and make one uh, Starfleet officer. Now, we're going to go through all of the races that are available. First race here is human. This race is free. And the attributes that you get is plus 30% subsystem repair and hull regenerate, which is really good. Plus 60% out of combat. Ground bonus, you get plus 5% team exploit damage. What does that mean? So the subsystem repair is when you're being targeted by phasers or weapons and they're trying to knock out your shields or you're, they're trying to knock out specific things on your ship next up is andorian so you get plus 10 perception plus 10 percent exploit damage plus 25 resistance to flanking and bonus damage for each point of missing health which increases greatly as health near zero so it's pretty self-explanatory flanking is when you're being attacked from behind uh next up is bajoran bajoran you get plus 0.2 percent healing to shields and hit points great for space well, I think that's a ground. Yes, that's a ground bonus. Plus 10% to healing abilities used on you. And plus 0-1 to regenerations for ground bonuses. Plus 10% to physical damage. Plus 33.33 resistance to toxic and radiation damage. Here, I'll show you what the benzites look like. Plus 5 resistance to energy damage. Good against the Borg. Betazoids. Ground bonus, you get plus 10 to perception, plus 1.5 to exposed chance, plus one second to exposed duration, reduced threat and increased team regeneration. So they get a lot. Uh, perception is good because it allows you to pick up pretty much where there where there's enemies. Uh, exposed, you get to see if they're hiding behind things. Uh, exposed duration. Exposed is a very good trait to have. Again, this, oh, I should say humans, Andorians, Bajoran, Benzite, and Betazoids are free to the base game, as well as Bolians. Uh, you get a chance for a toxic DOT against attackers who bite you. Interesting. Never knew that. So I guess what it means is that Bolians have toxic blood. Plus 10% to maximum hit points, plus 20 resistance to toxic damage. We're going to skip ahead. Since I have already unlocked all the races, we're going to skip just to the free ones. Interestingly enough, the Ferengi are free. So, plus 10% perception, 0.25 flank damage reduction, plus 10% exploit damage. 20% energy credit, gold press latinum store discount, 0.33 resistance to toxic and radiation. That's a very interesting combination. Next up, we have the pack lid. The pack lid have. Plus 4% critical chance, which is good. That's the only race that I think has a critical chance score. Plus, or minus 30 stun resistance, minus 30 confuse resistance, minus 30 place 8 resistance. So, they're not the most intelligent, you know. Uh, the Rigelians have a spear walk ability. Interesting, I never knew that. Plus 60 hit points, plus 9 hit points per second for every 6 seconds. 
plus 100 all damage resistance ratings for six seconds. So, yeah. They're pretty neat. Next up, we have the Saurians. You know, the transporting Saurian? Yeah. Plus 10 plasma damage resistance rating, plus 40 toxic damage resistance rating, plus 25 fire resistance rating, plus 10 perception, plus 5 exploit damage, plus 20% resistance to flanking damage. Next up is Tellarite. The Tellarite has plus resistance to physical and kinetic, plus resistance to place heat, hold, and knock. So that's good. 50% chance, plus 20 all damage for 20 seconds when receiving a critical hit. And then there's the click stubborn for to free yourself from confusing placing effects. Now have your trill. If you don't know who the trill are, they are humanoid looking. And they are from D Deep Space Nine. Godzilla Dax was trill. Uh, plus 33% damage resistance rating. Plus 33% toxic damage rate resistance rating, 0.1 health. Next up, we have Vulcan. Vulcan are free. Bonus resistance to psionic, placate, and confuse. 0.15 bonus to melee damage. 15% chance to knock down the target with your melee attacks. And then alien. No species traits. Instead, alien captains are given one extra trait slot for ground and space, which I'll show you in the game. Now we're gonna go through and show you the ones from the Zen store. So, first one up is Cation. The Cation were part of the original TOS or TAS series. They were the cartoon, uh, they're cats. And they cost 600 Zen that you can purchase in the Zen store. 10% chance to dodge half damage ranged attacks, plus 25% jump height, plus 10 perception, plus 10% exploit damage. I enjoy playing Acacia once in a while, not all the time. Uh, now we are going to check out the Cardassians. Cardassians are playable in both factions. So yeah, space bonus is called Recalled Tactics. Gain a stack of recalled tactics once every five seconds during combat. Plus two accuracy rating per stack, five max. Plus two defense rating per stack, five max. Plus two weapon damage per stack, five max. Ground bonus resistance to place safe, confuse, and hold and stun. This one goes for about a thousand zen. Uh, again, the prices are not written in stone. Sometimes they go on sale. Uh, I would check the, your local Zen store by clicking the Zen. I'll show you in the game. Next up is a playable Klingon in Starfleet. This costs, or this gives you ground bonuses of 15% physical damage, plus five all damage resistance rating, plus 5% energy damage, plus 15% critical severity, plus 10% damage generation. Then you have Joined Trill. The Joined Trill have plus three in energy weapon training, projectile weapon training, shield restoration, hull restoration, and damage control. So that's a space bonus. Plus seven in exotic particle generator. Plus nine in control expertise and drain expertise. So it seems they're very good in science skills. Uh, ground bonus plus 10% to health regeneration. Plus 24.6 radiation percent radiation damage resistance. And then another 24.6 toxic damage resistance. So yeah, they're pretty, uh, boop, boop. All right. And then we are going to go to what I call the big guns, aka Liberated Borg Human, which I love playing. The Liberated Borg Human is unlocked by being a lifetime subscriber. 
There's a lot of sales going on for lifetime subscriber. I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that for Cryptic. I don't work for Cryptic. I don't get a cut for it. Basically, you can get it sometimes for 100 USD. Sometimes you can get it for 250 USD. Most of the time it is about 399 USD. So I was fortunate enough to get it for 100 USD and I was fortunate. So space bonus is plus 30 to warp core efficiency. Ground bonus, plus 10 health regeneration, plus 6% shield regeneration. So next up, we have the Talaxians, which I'm going to be playing this time around. We've already made a Talaxian character. So space and ground bonus, 5% incoming healing to self and team, 5% skill points and expertise to team. So that's free to lifetime subscribers only. So let's jump out and we'll show you. All right, so let's make a Talaxian. I think I've deleted it. So with the Talaxian, you get 5% incoming health to myself, but also to my team. And you get plus 5% skill points and expertise to the team. So it's really good if you're playing with a team, which I'm going to be. Um, and it's also free to lifetime subscribers only. So yeah, let's play a Talaxian. All right, so this is your careers, your engineering officer. So we're gonna explain a little bit about this. As an engineer, you support your ship and crew by increasing their survivability and using improved technology to outlast and outmaneuver opponents. Basically what I do is I fly the Defiant and I have this ability called Miracle Worker that heals my starship to 100%, which will let me outlast and outgun anyone that's out on the field. That is the best thing to do, in my opinion. I rather do enjoy it. As a science officer, you get your admiral ability is what's called a photonic fleet. You use following meters on your hull to create ships that help you in battle. And this is also used to help heal people. You're the healer of the group. You're the medical officer. You're Dr. Crusher. You're the doctor, whomever you prefer. And then there's the tactical officer. Tactical officer, you bring down peons, you bring down Richards, and they help you with your target. You destroy your enemies and such. Uh, for my uh, Talaxian, I think we're going to use either engineering or science. I have to decide here. Let's do science, because Ben's an engineer, and I'm going to be playing with Ben mostly. Let's give her a top knot. Perfect. You the reveler? Let's make her short. Let's give her the advanced uniform. Let's do redemption. All right, so the next part of this story, I'll, I'll let you watch the intro. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged a campaign of peace. Live long. 21 years ago, the star of the Hova system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. 
the Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. Warning. Ship is under attack. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. Alright, so we are going to be playing a tutorial. Finally, I was oh, let me just close that. I've already been through this at least 33 times. There you are. Good luck. So we're gonna quickly fast forward through it. This is a long one. So yeah, it changed a couple of years ago. They actually updated it quite a bit. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. It's pretty neat. All right, friends, this is where I'm going to end the video, even though I don't have any control. Oh, there we go. We're going to end the video here, and I'm going to play through this. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the different types of starships, uh, different feelings, different types, different, just generally different types of starships, so you get a better idea for it. So if you liked this video, feel free to like it. Comment down below if you have any questions that you want me to cover in my Star Trek Online tutorial series. Let me know. I will gladly cover it for you. Thanks again for stopping by, and if you like what you saw, definitely subscribe. There's going to be more. Thanks again.